So guys, it seems as if the Qatars are uh, trying to get a really quick victory over the Karajites here. They're bringing 100,000 men uh, to the south to, uh, you know, deal with them. I, I don't know if that's really the right policy. I think what they should have done is send their fleet to uh, pl blockade the Straits of Gibraltar and just let their uh, African holdings uh, be besieged. Because the overall, they're not that... That they don't really matter that much. They're not going to give them that much war score. So they should have just let this be occupied and focus all of their forces over here. I mean, they still have 100,000 men, uh, you know, trying to fight. Actually, even more. Look at that. They have so many troops they uh, they send to uh, to fight Fraticelli that they should have... If they had brought the, under, the other 100,000 men, they would have won this. So that's that's really bad to see that they are not... Utilizing their forces uh, in a successful manner. So, yeah, they're, they're getting. Well, actually, this is the Valdensians winning, which is good for them. But had they actually brought over the 100,000 men, they could have won this. They have the Fraticelli capital besieged. Oh my god, why are they doing this? So the Karajites really hurt the uh, Qatars a lot because not only are they taking uh, incredible amounts of attrition down here, but they're also wasting time walking around uh, in Northern Africa while they could spend their troops, uh, you know, dealing with the, uh, dealing with the Fr Fraticelli here. Oh my god. Yeah, so as you can see, the entirety of Northern Valdensian lands are being occupied by the Reformed and the Fraticelli. And despite the Qatars trying to hold back, they are, I think they're going to eventually get defeated. It just has to be. Because there's an overwhelming majority of enemy forces rushing in. So I don't think they're going to be able to really do much here. Uh, so let's check, let's check this out. Um, yeah, you're winning by 1%. But those are the attackers. And that's only because of the war goal. As soon as that falls, and it will, uh, this is over. Uh... Right, so the Karajites, yeah, you're really you're losing this, but you are hurting these guys quite a bit. The Totemists decided to peace out. They no longer want to fight the Shinto. Now, yeah, they didn't manage to win this, but to be fair, this was a war the mines declared. So you can't really blame the Totemists for losing this. And yeah, there we see a peace deal. No, no province have changed hands. Uh, that was to be expected. Yeah, um, okay. Now, actually, you know what? I wonder if you had to break your lines. You did. You did have to break your lines. Oh, interesting. Well, still, it doesn't really make uh, a big difference. Uh, so, overall, it, it doesn't matter. Now, in the meantime, while this war is raging on in Europe, we can see that the Reformed grab some more provinces that they will convert or they uh, convert to the uh, well to the Reformed religion. So that is why they're so powerful because they have never stopped colonizing, and that's uh, that's important in this sort of map setup where uh, a lot of the world is uncolonized. You gotta keep keep going. Because then you actually get a lot of provinces under your control. So yeah, we finally, I don't know if this was intentional, if the Qatars listened to me, or if they just got beaten back. But uh, North Africa has been abandoned uh, in favor of Europe. We see a big Qatar stack, but I think they're moving south again. Oh my god, guys, why are you doing this? Did you drop out of this war? No, you're still fighting. Hmm. Supporting Valdensians here. Yeah, well, to be fair, it was a war that they did not declare. So, at least they're not entirely stupid. But, uh, well, we'll see how these things go. As long as Zurich is under control, um, you know, they might be able to get out of this war if war exhaustion takes up high enough. Um, and so far, no one is actually trying to besiege the war goal here. Um, so that's good. That's good for the Valencians. They are still trying to push back. But without Qatar support, they have no chance. All right, so Monophysites fighting the Shia. Okay, that's not really important. So it's basically just two wars that the uh, Qatars are in. Um, this is what matters right now. And yeah, the, the Qatars send 100,000 men to do whatever, but that's not even enough to deal with all of the Karajite forces. This is, uh, this is 100,000. This is another. Wow, 120,000, 170,000, and there's another 100,000 down there. So bringing troops to the south here is just suicidal. You should just block off the straits as you do, and then focus on this. This is what matters. The Karajites don't really matter. They can't touch you, uh, because I believe this is a imperialist war as well. So yeah, Iconoclasts um, now want to grab a few more provinces going after Hurufi. Yeah, maybe you could finish him off. Um, no, you can't, because you won't get these provinces. Damn it. Well, at least make it look a little bit nicer, and uh, convert some of these provinces that would be 
somewhat fun. Now, we also saw a peace deal between the uh, Monophysites and the Sunni. They actually pieced them out separately. It took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something provinces. I'm not entirely sure. And, uh, yeah, they also, well, gave back the Massalians, uh, gave back a province to the Massalians. I don't know why that happened, but, yeah. So, they still continue the war with the uh, Shia. That is because these problems are under their control, but the Shia capital is not. And I don't think it ever will be. So, yeah, we might see a stalemate here. What is it? We're at 16%. Not sure if that's enough to get the provinces desired, but yeah, we shall see. Now, it looks as if Zurich has fallen. Yes, it has. So, <sighs> war, the war score is going to take in favor of the Fraticelli. The aggressors will make progress here. Hmm. Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. And we only got two years left, so I wonder if they're going to be able to finish this war in time. Because, yeah, wow, big big mountain battle, but the terrain is on the attackers, or, well, on the uh, reformed side here. Um, so, yeah, the Qatars failed to protect the Valdensians here. To be fair, it was uh, quite an overwhelming might, and with the Karajites attacking them, that's not really too surprising. So, that, however, makes it less likely for me to, to want to give them the victory here. Because, obviously, being at the losing side of a war, such a great war, uh, in fact, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to say. So I think, yeah, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be between the three. We had five great powers, but I think I'm gonna take out the Totemist and the Fraticelli, because they are definitely behind. They've not really shown that much. Uh, but, but then again, we, we have to wait the uh, we have to wait and check out the end of this war because if the Fraticelli gain like tons of provinces, then I might change my mind. But for now, I think that it's going to be the Qatars. Uh, they need to be mentioned because they are they have the most development. The Reformed uh, they're currently winning, of course, and they also well they have uh, the most provinces uh, controlled under their religion. And the Shinto are somewhat in between these two, so they need to be mentioned as well. Um, so, yeah, I haven't decided yet. There's going to be a vote at the end of this video that I want you guys to participate in. And you're going to be the ones decide to decide who is going to win this series. Um, and there was going to be one last video uh, where I just go over the statistics um, and will announce the winner of this series. So, yeah, we have one year left, in fact. You know what? I, I'm not actually sure if I will go all the way. Because we have 1820. I mean, I guess we're going to try and see if we if we can see a peace deal here. If we see a peace deal here with the Valdensians, and they are the war leaders, so I'm actually pretty sure that we're going to see a peace deal here very soon. The Sikh declared war on the Hindu, not too important. None of these wars really matter, uh, except maybe... Yeah, except the ones where the Qatars are involved. That is all that matters. I definitely want to see a peace deal here, which we should see in this... In this uh, well, in this year. I mean, it has to happen. Yeah, the Qatars are just being smashed over and over and over again. And now we have revolutionary rebels rise up in the Valdensian lands. Yeah, well, then they will get crushed as well. So yeah, here's what happened. The Karajites took this over regardless of you sending over your troops and then killing them. So you should have just done this from the beginning. They have no way to get past your navy. So I really I really think they, uh, the Qatars have played this very poorly. Um, I mean, they're still winning this war against the Karajites, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see this. Yeah, they're winning this by 20%. They should have just disregarded this, but then again, that's the AI for you. They're not as smart. All right, still, come on. You gotta, you gotta peace out, because you are really... You're hurting your friends now. Valdensians, you need to peace out, because you're hurting your friends quite a bit. Because the more this war drags on, the more provinces could actually be taken over... Um, from the Qatars, could be taken away from the Qatars, and that will weaken them, not only strengthen his rivals, but also weaken them themselves. You don't want that. All right, well, I guess we're just waiting for that. The Shinto declared another war on the Tengri, all right, so they are, ooh, going against their longtime ally in the Sikh. All right, backstabbing bastards, I would say that, but then again, they have always been very kind, um, and I think here they are just trying to show that they are still in it to win it, and... Um, well, they certainly are. They certainly have a good chance. And there is the big piece. Wow. Okay. So, we saw the Reformed only grab one province out of that. 
Whereas the Friday Charlie took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine provinces, uh, and two down here uh, from the Qatars. Ooh, that is big. That is truly big indeed. Okay, so let me quickly see what that means in terms of uh, development. So the Shinto are definitely number two. Fraticelli have catapulted themselves in front of the reform. So uh, they're definitely back in it. They're definitely back in it to win it here. Um, okay, so I guess I'm going to stay with my original idea um, of the five great powers. Although the totemists are kind of falling off here because they are simply... They simply did not use this opportunity of the reform being in this big war to capitalize on that and take over the new reform faith. They should have done that. They didn't do it. And that is really why I think they... Yeah, well, I might I might still get the totemists in there, but honestly, I don't want them to be voted for. I haven't really decided yet. There's going to be a vote as soon as we hit, uh, uh, well, January 1st, 1821. I'm going to stop this video. There's going to be a pop-up coming right here, a YouTube straw poll. And I want you guys to participate in this. Vote for the faith that you think is the winner. Um, we'll, we'll just go here. We'll pause and we'll have a last look on development and converted religions because that is the most important. So let's have a quick look here. Um, now also wars, you can see the Shinto are currently winning, but that's too late to really be uh, deciding here. And yeah, we have apparently peace between... The Qatars and the Karajites. Yes. And you actually managed to take some more provinces. Okay. Okay. So that's definitely good to check that out here. Because that showed the Qatars were at least capable of defeating the Karajites. Alright. So let's have a last look at, um, not this one, at development. Alright. So here we are. Country development. Who has the most? So number one on their own are the Fraticelli. Then we have the Totemists. Then we have the Qatars. Shinto, and then actually the Inti way before the Reformed come. That is interesting. Okay, still, mm, the Inti are actually, actually pretty close. But then again, the Inti do not have any... No, no, no. Okay, well, th this is okay. Because we'll have to have a look at the Great Powers, because all of the Great Powers here, they have a really firm grip over their colonial nations. None of their colonial nations has ever rebelled. Um, so... I would definitely count the development of their subjects to them, at least half of it. I mean, they actually have even more than that if you count the, the full development. So, all right, just keep that in mind when you make your decision. The decision will be between uh, the Qatars, the Shinto, the Fraticelli, the Reformed, or the Totemists. Those are the five I uh, put up for the vote. You let me know who you think uh, deserves the win. We'll have one last look at the religions and the province. Uh, we see the Qatars. Uh, the Reformed, number one, Qatar's number two. Then the Shinto, Sunni still held their fourth place here in, in front of the Fraticelli. Um, and the Totemists have actually been uh, surpassed by the Norse. So there it is. Let me know what you think which nation has won. And also, um, you, for that you use the straw poll, please. And also in the comment section, let me know um, what you want to see. What kind of uh, statistics I should go over in the last episode and also what map modes you would like to see. So yeah, I'm going to say uh, goodbye for now and I'll see you guys in the very last episode. Thank you so much for watching.